In an effort to promote peace and accurate reporting in conflict-affected areas, particularly in Nigeria's northeast, practicing journalists in Bonu State have been engaged in a conflict-sensitive reporting training. Organized by the Alamein Foundation for Peace and Development, the training aims to strengthen capacities and will for transitional justice and reconciliation in Bonu State. Now, News Central's Umaru Kirawa tells us more. The training emphasized the importance of unbiased reporting, fact-checking, and the use of appropriate language when reporting conflicts. Journalists were encouraged to avoid sensationalism and be mindful of the potential impact their reporting can have on fragile situations. Our target is peace reporting, conflict-sensitive reporting, reporting that builds reconciliation within communities and development focus. At the end of the day, when we have that Alamein Foundation for Peace and Development, like the name implies, looks with, uh, towards the peace aspect and development aspect. How do journalists coalesce their ideas together towards peace building and also development is the focus. During the training, various topics were covered, including ethical reporting, conflict analysis, and peace building techniques. Knowledge is never exhaustive. Uh, some of us have gone through uh, these kind of workshops. But you see, oftentimes, new ideas are emerging. And um, it's just all about um, peace journalism. The participants engaged in practical exercises, group discussions, and role plays to enhance their understanding of conflict-sensitive reporting. They said round hole, round peg in a round hole. But if you put a square hole in a round peg, it will not work. So we are trying to refocus our mind, the minds of the journalists, so that they will be able to understand this critical issues. They will also have critical mind to address uh, issues that are bound, uh, binding on professionalism on one side, social responsibility on the other, and issues of development. The program also encouraged journalists to actively engage with communities affected by the conflict, fostering dialogue and understanding. The challenge we may encounter in the course of writing our stories, mm -hmm. and then we, we identify access to the scene of attack, for, for those on TV and newspapers that will give voices and real-life uh, uh, events. Participants were also trained on how to conduct interviews and gather information without foil intentions or compromising the safety of those involved. Umori Kirawa, reporting for New Central TV, Nidiguri.